Hello friends, this is Himanshu and I welcome you all to my channel. Today I am going to discuss about 6 common mistakes which most of the people make while setting up Selenium Grid. It is very important for you to not to make these mistakes so that you can use Selenium Grid efficiently and with ease. So let us find out what are these common mistakes. Mistake 1 is not setting up logging for Selenium Grid. It is very important to set logging for your hub and node machines. I think this is one of the most powerful tools of Selenium Grid, but unfortunately, I have seen many people not using it and they struggle when their test starts failing on Selenium Grid. By enabling logging, you can easily debug the issue and find out the root cause of the problem. I will soon show you how you can enable logging for your hub and node machines. Mistake 2 is not setting up browser timeout. When you run your test using Selenium Grid, then a request from your local machine is sent to Selenium Hub Machine and Hub Machine then routes that request to a node machine. During test execution, it is possible that the browser sitting on your node machine may hang. What will happen to the remaining tests which are waiting for a browser instance? So the browser instance which is already hanged will not be available to other tests which are waiting in queue. So that is a problem. But there is a solution to that. You can use browser timeout configuration. You can use this configuration either in your hub machine or in node machine. I prefer it to use on my hub machine rather than on individual node machines because using it on node machine, I have to configure it in all the nodes. Whereas if I configure the same thing on a hub machine, then I can manage all the nodes from a single place. Yet another mistake is not setting up timeout option. Browser timeout option takes care of browser hang problem on a node machine. What will happen if the local machine from which I am executing my test case got hanged or I simply turn it off. So the node machine will keep waiting for a request from my machine which is actually turned off. So that browser instance which is opened by my test will not be released for other tests which are waiting in queue. So here timeout option comes in the picture. With timeout you can specify the timeout before the Selenium Hub automatically kills a session that has not had any request from the past few seconds and you can set the timeout. Yet another mistake is writing all the parameters of your grid configuration from a command prompt rather than putting all the things in a JSON file. It is always recommended to keep all the configurations of your Selenium grid in a JSON file rather than writing all the things straight away on the command line. Yet another mistake is forget to turn off the browser update on your node machines. One of the common problem in Selenium is browser and driver compatibility. Always make sure to turn off the browser update on your node machines. If you forget to do that, then your browser will get updated and your driver will become incompatible and it won't be able to run your test. Yet another problem is not restarting the node machines for a long time. You should always make sure to restart your node machines after a certain interval around after two weeks or after 100 test case execution. It will ensure that all the caches and the space which is occupied by browser is freed up. Let me now show you what are the configuration which I have spoken about and how you can do that in your JSON file. So let me now show you how you can create and configure a JSON file. First of all, my Selenium server standalone is uh, residing here in this folder. Let me now create a file by uh, by name uh, hubconfig.json. 
So I'll be using this file to run my hub. Uh, let me rename it to so that it is a JSON file. Now it is changed to a JSON file. Uh, let me edit it. So I'll provide a couple of parameters. First is uh, the port. Then uh, I will provide uh, the role. Then I will provide the log location. Role is hub and the log location. So let me first create a folder on my uh, on my selenium create folder. Let me name it logs. So I'm just writing down the path of uh, where I want logs to generate. In log folder, I want logs to generate by name selenium hub logs dot log. Yep, that's it. Let me now uh, run selenium server with role hub with my json file so the command for that is java hyphen jar selenium server standalone then role hub then you have to write hub config and then you have to provide the path of your hub config json file so my hub has already started i can now go and see the logs here i can see the logs Okay, so let me now create a same configuration file for node as well. Just saving my effort and copying the same file. Let me rename it to node config. I'm just changing the port to 5555. A role will be node. And let me change the name of logs file as well to node node logs dot log. That's it. Let me now run my node as well. I'm going to command prompt. Command is same Java if and jar selenium server standalone. Then roll node. Then node config then path of my node configuration file okay my node has also started let me go and check out the logs here i can see the node logs as well let me open it so here you can uh, see the logs which are generating by node and here is the hub logs okay so far so good let me now do some other configurations as well uh, before that let me close uh, the existing instances of hub and node let me now add browser timeout and timeout browser timeout I'm setting it to three minutes. It takes a parameter in seconds, so 180 is three minutes. And same for timeout as well. 180 seconds. And saving it. Now I can close it and rerun hub and node.
so now both uh, hub and node is up i can now go to my browser and check out the parameters i just need to verify the parameter which i have supplied during the configuration should appear in console of my grid so let me just open my grid console let me click on console here on view config so i can see here is browser timeout is 180 seconds and timeout is also 180 seconds and the log location is logs selenium hub logs that's it pretty easy